What's going on, y'all? Conscious one coming at you. So I'm sitting here thinking about all the artists that I be playing, that I be showing y'all. And I'm like, yo, what do they all seem to have in common? Especially when I played that uh, Beanie Man song, Girls Them Sugar. I said, man, you know, all these chicks, they Italian. Okay. Nelly Furtado, I think that's an Italian name. Gwen Stefani, I think that's an Italian name. Demi Lovato, if that's her real name, that's an Italian name. And then just found out about a week ago that Maya is Italian and black. So it's like, what's up with this um, this Italian uh, black connection? What's up with that? Well, you know, Bobby Hemmett, he calls Italian people. He said they ain't nothing but uh, spaghetti niggas. And it's two races of white people that I know have that direct like bloodline to Moorish ancestry. And that's the Irish and the Italian. And when you go back and look at the boxing history, some of the only people that were able to like beat like black men in a boxing ring was Italians. You think about Rocky, people like Rocky Marciano. There was a guy that uh, faced uh, um, Roy Jones Jr. that Roy Jones got beat up by uh, Italian. Them the only people like niggas got to worry about is Italians. Everybody else, you don't got to worry about them. But, uh, oh, and the Irish, you got to worry about them, too. Irish are very, very tough people. Moorish bloodline, you know. Not all white people are white, you know. Um, it was Bobby Hemmett that revealed to me that 15% of white people are actually black. I, uh, and they get treated like black people, too, by, by the upper class of white people, you know. You know, uh, Italians and Irish people, they're looked at like black people by other white people. So 15% of um White people are actually black. And Bobby, when he, he went even so far as to say that the way you can tell whether a white person is black or not is it's like something you can cut right above their spine that, I don't know, it oozes some kind of black blood and, and, and that's how you know they're black. But yeah, all these all these women got the same thing in common. Like they got Italian and black ancestry that seem to make it in the music business. Mixing other races... You know, I guess it can cause a lot of confusion. You know, there are a lot of, you know, black women who wish they had, you know, long hair, although they used to. But that's a long story. I don't want to get into that right now. But I've seen black women that uh, that cut their hair like like a ball and look gorgeous. So it just depends. Um, me, I'm, you know, I got some mix. I got a lot of mixing going on in my blood. Like I, uh. You know, I got the Asiatic, uh, kind of the Native American, black, you know, Southern black, all mixed in together. Me, I'm like an alchemical nightmare. Y'all don't even want to know. You know what I'm saying? I'm an alchemical nightmare. But, you know, um, the gods have to mix a lot of things up. They have to mix it up because when it was just black, it became too tribal. So they had to they had to do some experiments, mix things up a little bit. But me, I'm glad to be black. I'm glad to be bald. <laughs> I like shaving. It's very therapeutic. It's nice to get up in the morning. All you have to do is shave. I can actually shave in the dark. I don't have to be going all like, you know, going like this with my hair and all that junk. So, you know, there, there's always a reason to be proud to be who and what you are. Um, I'm glad I'm a, I'm a black alchemical male nightmare. I wouldn't have it any other way. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I just want to tell you all that. But, um. Yeah, they said that the reason children come out more beautiful when they mix is because the DNA has more to choose from. I mean, hey, God himself is a mulatto. His father was jet black and his mother was uh, white. So that's when, once again, when it comes to knowledge, wisdom and understanding, you really have to look into things as to why, what is what. Because it's like, again, with knowledge, as soon as you think you got it, that's when you you totally don't got it. Because knowledge is so fragmented. You have to really you know, search for things very deeply about why things is why, because if not, you'll be all into your feelings about this and about that and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, guy himself is a mulatto. Go figure. You know, um, Hmm. It's more I want to say, but I'm going to talk to y'all about this later. I right? peace.